Hello everyone and welcome to the start of our NPC AI series where we'll be taking a look at the Mass AI plugin and system and talking about how to get this set up and working to generate NPCs in your environments just walking around and reacting to what you're doing. So let's get started with the first part. The first part we're going to look at zone graphs and look at how we set these up and what they do. So let's get started. So to get started with our NPCs in our village scene uh, using a mass AI system, um, you first of all need to enable the actual mass actors in your um, plugins. So you want to go to your plugins menu and search for mass and you want to turn on these four. You want to turn on mass AI, mass crowd, mass entity and mass gameplay. Once you've done that, you will need to restart your editor, but once you've done that, you're ready to go. So the first thing we look at is zone graphs. So zone graphs are a way to identify the areas where your mass AI is going to spawn in and follow when they navigate around. So, for example, in a big city, this would be the sidewalks as a zone graph, and also the roads would be a different side of a zone graph, indicating that they could use either one very differently depending on who they are. Um, now, in our little medieval village example here, um, we're just going to have a simple pedestrian one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a zone shape. Now, the way we create zone shapes is we have to go into our place actors panel because you can't really see it from here. I don't think you can anyway. Uh, volumes, all classes. We probably do it in all classes. Uh, yeah, go to all classes and you can search for zone shape. You can drag that out. And the default is a spline, which for things like walking down a path, um, like lanes, splines work just fine. Uh, the other option is to change it to an area, which is a polygon shape, um, which you can do and you can reorganize like the sort of closed shape that you want it to follow. But we can use a spline so it has direction on it. Now, over here on the right hand side, details panel with this, we can determine tags and lane profile. So the first thing you do is set up the tag system. So we go to where you click on empty and go to edit tags. This will bring up your uh, project settings and take you to the zone graph settings. And in here, you'll find definitions for your lane profiles and tags. Open up your tags and you can see all different tags available to you. Your first one's default. But this is how you can determine the difference between like NPCs versus vehicles. Okay, so you can do different things like that. Uh, even animals, carts, things of that nature. You can really customize how many you want. So we're just going to have one extra one. We're going to have a pedestrian. And we'll leave it like that. And whilst we're here, we're also going to go to lane profiles and add to the lane profile the name of the lane we want to use and identifying the lane. So in here, we're going to call this one NPC lane. And I'm going to go to the lanes and click on add. Now we're going to add multiple lanes to this thing. So think of it like a road where you have different lanes. It's similar to that. So you indicate the width of the lane. So 150 is quite small. I'm going to increase that to maybe 400. Directions can be forwards. And the tags I want to use this is going to be using the pedestrian tag, not the default one. As you saw, you can add multiple tags to individual lanes. So other things can use the same one. So that's going forwards down the lane. But we also want to be able to walk backwards along that lane too. So they can intersect each other. So you just go to where it says lanes, add another one. Um, I keep that one to 400 again. But this time change the direction from forwards to backwards. And tags to, uh, to pedestrian. And that's it. No, you don't really have to do anything else in here. There's some things in here that you can be building the zone graph while you're editing it, but I prefer to actually build it manually. Um, just so you don't get any weird issues. So I'm going to close that and we're now good to go. So on this zone shape, if you go down to lane profile now, you can choose from invalid, you can choose your NPC lane. And you should now see the lane arrow start appearing. You also then want to go down to tags and give this a pedestrian tag. So pedestrians have been now told that they can use these lanes. And to manipulate the spline, it works just like any other spline actor in your project. You just click on the ends of the spline, move them around. 
hold down the alt key and you can change their directionality okay so we've got this like path going through the middle of our village and with the zone graph you can see the two arrows going both directions showing the multiple lanes in action here and i'm going to add a few more of these things so let's just uh drag out uh, another zone graph let's add another one volumes not all classes zone shape and it should already have the ones we want so npc lane pedestrian and i'm just going to drag that out and by the way if you want to see the other one where it is you can hit p on your keyboard and it should show it no okay just go to show uh let's just show it zone shape It should show it. I don't know why it's not, but yeah, you should be able to see it anytime. But nonetheless, we'll just continue going here. And so it could be it is, uh, all of this stuff, by the way, is experimental. So there may be weird little bugs like that that don't make sense. Um, so don't fret about it too much. We'll do this. Have NPCs able to walk around these buildings and through the buildings. And they don't have to line up perfectly because later on, when we build out the AI to look for these lanes, you can give them a sort of radius to search around so you can find it. It's bothering me that you can't see the navigation, but never mind. Um, it was working for me the other day. No, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to add another one. And I'm going to do one that goes in here. And search for zone. Oh. Zone shape. Again, giving it the pedestrian tag. Oh, one. There you go. Like so. So think about how you could use the tags for example let's say like i've got this area is going to be for shopkeepers only or private residentials or high class citizens i can make a tag that is identifying them as that and make this lane only useful for them so they don't walk around every single path they only walk around the ones that actually apply to them and their type of character um but you can easily sort of break this up and break it down by adding those different tags into it so let's say this one is going to be for the high class citizens okay these two buildings here and so this path here we're going to make it exclusive for them okay so i'm going to go down to my tags edit tags i'm going to add another tag to it and we'll do a high class npc and i'm going to Go to my different lane profiles. We'll make a new lane profile. And this one is going to be NPC high class. And we're going to define our lanes. Now, these are basically, you can make them the same as the other ones if you want. Um, it's no different. Yeah, there you go. And so I'm going to set to 400 forwards. And this one I'm going to make just high class NPCs only. And I'll make another one. 400 forward, backward. And do high class NPC only. So if I want to assign this one differently, I just go to a lane profile and just change it to high class and tag it with the high class NPC. You can leave this pedestrian as well if you want, but the main thing is, is that this lane is now identified as a high class lane. Okay, so if you want to keep them like in their sort of areas, you can easily do that with this stuff too. Okay, 
So there you have it. We've now got a zone graph set up and we can now define where our NPCs are walking to and walking from. Now, next part, we're going to actually add our NPCs to the zone graphs by manipulating their data assets and configure them for mass AI. You can watch the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my parts available before everyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.